Hello guys, and welcome back to my Let's Play of <clears throat> Borderlands when we last left off. Oh yeah, we took on the Rack Hive, and we also, uh, what was it? Uh, did the little, what was it, um, hidden weapon crate at New Haven. We also rescued Tannis' Claptrap. And so uh, we did the Old Haven Claptrap. Got some new inventory space. <clears throat> and we are now here at this next area. We're gonna get our next full key piece from Byron Flynn and hopefully I'm not gonna die because I really don't want that to happen yeah I kind of figured that was gonna happen damn it so before we can even actually get inside the place we're gonna have to blow up for bandit patrols Going back to, uh, which boss was it? Mini boss. Um, well, there's a bandit patrol. Hoo hoo, I almost walked straight into that. Um, Mad Mill, there we go. <clears throat> Going back to the Mad Mill quest. So, uh, oh yeah, uh, the bandit patrols are pretty much scattered throughout, uh, right around the area where, uh, Bon Flint is. So just kind of circle around the place since all you see four beans of patrols. Luckily for me, three of them were right there. <clears throat> and lucky for us, we got right there, which is entrance two uh, towards Bon Flint. But before that, we're going to go and rescue the Claptrap so we can get our second to last inventory space. Well, I see you, <clears throat> which is actually going to be located more towards the exit of the place when we uh, kill Flint. So come over here. There's a cloud trap <clears throat> and the repair kit is going to be all the way uh, back where we just came from. I don't want to shoot, but geez. Just come over here. There's a repair kit. That's all I gotta say about you guys shooting me. Of course, I just had to be a bruiser right there. Come back, and there's our second to last uh, plot trap completed. So, now that we got that taken care of, let's go back to once we come came from, and we're gonna take on Byron Flint. So let's get it on the way without getting stuck again. <clears throat> oh, Thor inf infiltrated. Yeah, Thor infiltrated is just coming down here, I believe. Now maybe it's taking the elevator. I don't know. I really don't care. Uh. All Siren Class mods. 
Almost. Oh well. Let's take this. Let's up. No, I guess that's the Thor infiltrated. <laughs> See? He's a gentleman. He lets us into his place. And he lets you be natural like it's your own home. Yeah, screw it. Let's kill the bastard. Well, oh, never downloaded, installed this into my hard drive. Oh, well. <clears throat> that's medicinal. So, after that, we get to fight uh, his henchmen. So, yay, us. Now, incidentally, I believe it's three rounds before. He can actually go up and uh, uh, take on Flint himself. Incidentally, though, I mean, you could sit there and shoot him from right here. But chances are you're probably not going to do that. Great amount of damage to him. Unless you have a sniper and uh, your Mordecai and just by bypass the shield. But unfortunately, that's on us. So we're gonna have to stay down here and take on his henchmen as they appear. Which really isn't proving to be that bad. Damn you, Flint! Yeah, and then he sends his two lock lockies, which are pretty much little badass psychos. But they really didn't see that much. Well, one of them didn't. I don't know where the hell the other one went. Huh. Does the other one just, like, run away? Really, though. Then again, I never really, really even saw him come up, so... <laughs> I guess the other one died, randomly. Oh, well! No complaints here. So, let's go uh, kill Flint. That's not Flint. There he is. I actually really don't have a minus. Uh, pistol. Well, if it is a pistol. I can't remember if it's a pistol or a shotgun. Oh, well, we're about to find out. Ha! Huh, shotgun! A oh, boomstick. Was it worth shooting me? Was it? I don't think it was. So, if you come up here, we're gonna get the final piece. Sorry about that. Fortunately, I'm gonna have to kill myself. Which really sucks. <laughs> I've never had that actually happen to me. Shotgun. Yeah, I was gonna say, I don't think his boom sticks better.
Yeah, so the bits. Well, yeah. The bits took the last piece. Put it simply. Take it to go. All right, so for fuck's sake. <laughs> All right, so now that Is everyone freaking done talking? Seriously. Alright. So now that hopefully everyone's done talking, and we'll shut the hell up. Pretty much what just happened. Commander. Commander is. <laughs> who the hell cares? <laughs> the fucking bitch. Let's put it that way. The bitch stole the last piece. And then she's. Uh, turn off the echo system, which essentially, I don't even know what the hell that it does. <laughs> All I'm guessing is, it's pretty much the communication grid, put it that way. No, fast travel, I, yeah, fast travel sounds more right. Yeah, it is the fast travel. So, without the fast travel, we can't go from uh, place to place. So, we're going to have to go there from a uh, little map-to-map -map section knolls. So, we're going to have to go through the back door. <laughs> and we're going to have to uh, take it. Oh, yeah. And uh, also, when we open up the little chest, uh, we got... A new mission, Finding Tannis, because, unfortunately, uh, the bitch took Tannis, and along with that, the three vault key pieces. So, that also kind of uh, intertwines with what the Guardian was talking about, how the vaults, well, the Crimson Lance are going to get on a, an unexpected surprise by the vault, and blah, blah, blah. And, incidentally, we're not going to figure that out anytime soon. Well, actually, it might be soon because there's really almost, like, no missions lots. And, as you can kind of see, I'm kind of just running through this. Ooh, pistol, pistol. Take them all. So, what was I saying? Um, oh yeah, I don't even remember what the hell I was saying. So, pretty much, I'm just going to run through this and hopefully uh, get to the next area and just call it an episode. But I guess we're going to see about that. Uh, too bad that doesn't have a multiplayer. Not bad, not bad. Not yeah, really, I wasn't even checking, I don't know. Just come in here. Uh, touch that tape recorder. Look up there, and you're going to see the bitch. Although, if I had a sniper... Yeah, yeah, actually, let me equip a sniper so we can see that bitch. Yeah, you know what? I actually like calling her a bitch. Yeah, so that's a bitch. Although, I was kind of late about it. And also, when you actually see her again. Yes, you will see her again. Uh, you're going to notice that she's actually one of us. And by that, I mean she's a uh, siren. So... Oh, uh, with that, 
we see our first Edocrine weapon that uh, Master Cloud holds. Pretty nice. Although, I still don't like Edocrine weapons. That's just my personal preference. So, once you kill him, you get... Uh, he drops a little Edocrine... Iridian. Iridian. My bad. The Iridian... I believe sniper. So now that we have uh, a radiant weapon, and I'm pretty sure I mentioned that I was gonna show it off. So essentially, radiant weapons they don't take any, uh, they don't need any ammo. They're all known energy, and as you can see on the bottom right, it has the infinite symbol, and generally it is true that. It has infinite ammo. The only problem is with the shot, the ammo goes down. So if you fire too much, you're going to run out of energy. You're not going to be able to shoot it again until it recharges. That is one reason I don't like Iridium weapons is because you can only shoot them a couple of times before they run out. It charges. And I really do hate it. She is it. So one thing I discovered is that there's actually a treasure chest up here. And I'm actually going to try something a little interesting. Because I've never actually tried it. Alright, never mind. Um, I guess I'm just going to have to kill myself, sadly. Man, let's make it a little faster. So... If you guys are familiar with grenade jumping, especially if you play Halo, you might have done a little grenade jumping. So, like I was saying, uh, if you're familiar with grenade jumping, that's what we're going to have to do. And that is what we will do. So, now that we got uh, soccer grenades now. Uh, where was it? Oh, uh, there's the shotgun. Hold on. Wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm missing a cloud trap. I... Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm missing a cloud trap. What... The living hell. Now we got the old haven. We got. Alright, so throw the grenade down. Oh, pfft. Yeah, it might actually help if I have a shield too. Whoops. Not that, um. Oh, that's why, never mind. <laughs> I was in here, I was like, wait a minute. Yeah, that was stupid. Yeah, I even sat there and I was thinking, I was like, I'm pretty sure I got all the... What was it? All the cloud traps. I don't know why I don't have it. Alright, so now after that stupid little mistake of not having a shield on and pretty much killing ourselves and there we go all right demon <sighs> yeah this might take a little bit so I've only actually gone up there once and I'm actually not probably not using the best grenades for it yeah, first explosion yeah, probably a little bad spot that was in. Alright, there we go. Just come up here, open up this treasure chest, get some pretty nice pistols, saucer repeaters. Or at least two nice ones. 
All right. So now that we got that taken care of, we're gonna come in here. Yeah, I'll just save it to the next episode. So in the next episode, we're gonna find Tannis. And we're gonna do our last flat trap of the game. Who is incidentally right over there, but kind of getting bombarded by a turret. So guys, in the next episode, <laughs> yeah, I already said, what the? Oh, it's me. Never mind. So I'm like, where the hell am I getting shot from? Uh, so guys, with that, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I, I don't remember what the hell. So, until then, guys, see you guys next time, and hope you guys have a good day slash night, stupid computer, and see you guys next time. Have a good day, everyone.